Hello, uh, okay, hello, sir. Good afternoon, sir. I want to buy solar generator. I see you are advertising solar generator. Okay, uh, exactly. So, uh, how much is your 500 watts, sir? So, what are the things that the 500 watts can power, sir? What are the uh, plant? Okay, it can power pumping machine. Uh -huh. Ah, 500 watts. <laughs> Good day, guys, and welcome to Fast Test Solar again. Everything going green, everything going solar. So today, I have a very important topic that I want to talk about today. And if you are joining us for the first time, all you have to do is give this video a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Follow us for more and so that you can have access to amazing and educative content such as this. Today, we want to talk about uh, how to know fake solar generator sellers. <laughs> this might sound funny, right? Yes. How to know fake solar generator sellers in this video i'll be sharing just four questions you can ask your solar installer or your solar generator seller so that you can be able to know if that person is telling you the truth or not all right if you're ready for this let's get started let us look at the four questions that you need to ask your solar installer or your solar generator seller before you actually buy those um, offer from them to see if what they are trying to sell to you will actually save you or will actually make you cry <laughs> sorry you won't cry so let's start with the first one what is the inverter power of the system what is the inverter power so let's say for instance the inverter power is 500 watts and then they are telling you that this system can power a pumping machine can power a pumping machine Let's say one horsepower pumping machine. One horsepower pumping machine is at least, let's say, 750, 750, um, approximately 750 watts. That is um, a one horsepower pumping machine. And then you have a solar generator of 500 watts. If someone is telling you that uh, that 500 watt solar generator will be able to power a one horsepower pumping machine, from there, you should know that this person doesn't know what he's saying or he just wants to sell his products. And you should be careful from there. Second question you need to ask is what is the battery capacity of the system? What is the battery capacity of the system? Say for instance, the battery capacity is 100 amps, 100 amps, 12 volts. And that is if you multiply the 100 times the 12 volts, you're going to get 1,200 watts hour or 1.2 kilowatts hour. Depending on the type of battery, if the battery is fully charged, you can store up to that power in inside the battery that is what that means you can store up to 1200 watts hour inside the battery so take for instance the person you want to buy that solar generator from is not telling you that this solar generator can power an appliance of 500 watts <laughs> you get me an appliance of 500 watts for five to ten hours then this is what you have to do just divide that 500 watts that is your load by the watt hour of the battery the watt hour of the battery is 1200 watt divide that 500 watt load by it you are going to get um two you're going to get two hours from it so you're going to get two hours if you get two hours from it so there's no way this solar generator that has a battery of 1200 watt hour will be able to power a load of 500 watts for five to ten hours is not possible it's not done i have not even calculated the inverter idle mode because whenever you turn on inverter they tend to consume their own power also and other things so you can see that this is not possible so guys this third question is very important and if you have followed me to this very point to this very level that means you are actually liking this video you are you are following it you want it so why not support me that is the only thing you can do for me i'm not asking you to pay me anything just like this video subscribe to the channel if you're watching from youtube and follow me if you're watching from other platforms so let's go on guys this particular third question you need to ask your solar installer or your solar generator seller is very important also because it will determine how long how many years your solar system is going to last you is what is the type of battery the system will be using will it be a lithium ion phosphate battery will it be a gel battery or will it be a tubular battery all these things will determine if your system is going to last two years three years five years or up to ten years 
This fourth question is also very important. You need to ask your solar installer or your solar generator seller. You need to ask them how many solar watts can the system take. Say, for instance, your load in a day will consume up to 4,000 watts. That is 4 kilowatt hour. That is what you consume. All your TV, fan, everything in a day is consuming up to 4,000 watts hour. And then your solar generator or your solar installation uh, can only generate, that is your panel on the roof, can only generate, let's say, 1,500 watts in a day for 24 hours, or maybe 2,000 watts, or maybe 3,000 watts. And you are consuming up to 4,000 watts. So there's no way such a system is not going to fail you. It is definitely going to fail you unless you know how to manage your, your loads. So these are the questions you need to ask your solar generator seller or your solar installer before you go into that deal with them. If this video has been helpful, if you actually learned something today, I put so much effort into making this video. I put so much time. I have to put so many things away before, before I can make this kind of video for you guys. And all you have to do is just to like this video. That is the only way you can support me. And also drop comments and questions in the comment section. I'll be following you guys through to answer them. And I'll see you guys in my next amazing content. Stay blessed.